Ukrainian authorities said Russia launched a missile attack on Kyiv as the Kremlin steps up its assault on cities including Odessa and Kharkiv, as well as the war-battered nation's energy infrastructure. Two ballistic missiles were intercepted over the capital on Monday, Ukraine's air defense said Monday on Telegram. As air raid alarms sounded, a school sports hall in central Kyiv was damaged, while drone debris fell in several other districts, the municipal military administration said. At least 10 people were injured, Kyiv Mayor Vitaly Klitschko said. President Volodymyr Zelensky reiterated his appeal to international partners for more protection against Russian strikes. We never tire of repeating that Ukraine needs more air defense, he said in a statement on Telegram. All of us in the world who respect and protect life need to stop this terror. The strike in Kyiv and attacks across Ukraine's south overnight, triggering widespread blackouts in the Black Sea port city of Odessa, were part of intensified assaults from the Kremlin three days after the worst atrocity in Moscow in two decades killed at least 137 people. Even as Islamic State claimed responsibility for the concert killings, Russian President Vladimir Putin on Saturday pointed the finger at Ukraine without offering evidence. Kyiv flatly denied any involvement. Even before the killings, Russia stepped up attacks against Ukraine's energy system, on Friday launching the biggest strike at facilities in the sector since the invasion began more than two years ago. The city of Kharkiv in Ukraine's northeast suffered the most damage, and continues to rely on backup generators for critical needs. Russia continues to target our energy infrastructure, national power grid operator Ukrainergo said on Telegram. Two substations were damaged in the Odessa and Mykolaiv regions. Restricted electricity consumption in Odessa was further reduced, after debris from a downed drone fell on a substation, according to Ukrainergo. Russian forces struck an underground gas storage facility in western Ukraine on Sunday, damaging equipment. Alexei Chernyshov, chief executive officer of state-run Naftogaz Ukraini, said the facility below the surface wasn't damaged. Still, European natural gas prices extended gains after the strike, which added to a tighter outlook for supply. Benchmark futures jumped as much as 4.7% on Monday after posting their longest run of weekly advances in more than a year last week. An intercepted drone in the city of Mykolaiv fell on a residential area and injured 11 people, the Southern Military Command said. A fire at an energy facility in the surrounding region caused by a drone strike was extinguished and has not interrupted electricity supply. Four drones were downed in each of the two affected southern regions out of a total of nine drones launched by Russia, according to the military.